She said, you know. I make it to the end and I'ma find out that. Ah! Yes! I'm on sorry. Fifty dog, I think you got it, turn it on me. Tell him! Talk that talk! Yes! I didn't care to go back to this. Really? What's up, guys? Uh, we're Jungle Beats. We review and react to music from all over the world. From the smallest to the biggest to the most unknown artists out there. And we are a bit out there, aren't we? Oh, no. We're pretty, we're pretty normal. We're pretty square. I'm a normie. I'm a pleb. Yep. Uh, my name is uh, Bojack uh, Silman. And I'm Alexander Sandalis. And together we are Jungle Beach, Australia's worst reviewers in the country. We're about to review Drake's Scorpion, or as you like to call, I thought, Taurus. I thought we were doing Meek Mill. Oh, fuck. This is awkward. Jeez. Scorpion. Drake's decided to drop a 25 track album because he really liked. He didn't get the memo from Kanye. They're clearly not on the same page. It's alright, we're not busy. We don't have fucking lives. No, not at all. Just drop a double disc album. But that's okay, it's Drake, man. Yeah, first 12 tracks is rapidly rippity rap. Drake and the other 13 tracks are singing this song and this song lead. And I like what he did on Apple Music. He put a little annotation that said, I hate when Drake raps. Drake sings too much. Do you know there's more to it? I didn't. Now I do. <laughs> well, that's the first part of it. And I like that. It's kind of like he's playing to both sides of his critics. Mm. And he's just giving them both because fuck it. You know, I, I really like that response. Yeah, same. It's like kind of just acknowledging your haters. Be like, I don't give a fuck. Let's waste no more time because we don't have time. It's getting late and I'm getting pregnant. <coughs> With my baby, we're going to have a kid. Yes. <laughs> so this is, well, we are the hottest interracial couple in Australia. But a lot of people think we should, should date. We're going to release a sex tape in the future. But we have to, once we hit a thousand Patreons. I don't give head. I don't give rim jobs. I don't, but no, I can learn. I do that instead. I can learn. Um... What are we doing? Are we reviewing music? Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, is, this, is this the sing-song side or the rap side? The rap side's the first side. So we're doing Drake. I think I'll fucking know when I press play, don't you think? <laughs> I'll probably know. Well, Drake... I probably should press play right now, shouldn't I? Drake, Sagittarius, let's go. <laughs> what a shit intro. <laughs> that was actually the point. What a fucking shit intro. <laughs> Could have been any bad. What was that, like 10 yeah. minutes? Hold on, hold on, hold on. About five? <laughs> All of this is sort of no address and the crown is broken in pieces but there's more in my possession There's a whole lot in my My Mount Rushmore is me with four different expressions mm. Who's giving out this much return on investment? After my blood man, how is that even a question? After this summer man, how is that even a Blessing I've had real Philly niggas try to write my ending Niggas gambling what they like for some content That's the type of lottery that could get your top pick I am a cream of the crop nigga Pop mollies, my mollies pop niggas. About them, man, I thought about it. Oh, what? It's unsettling to talk about it. This is this a clean version? Free all of my niggas that they caught with it. Better not be. RIP my niggas that they no, caught without it. No, fucking exactly right. This is the intro, let me not get ahead of myself. This is God's plan, young man. You said it yourself. Hold up. Man, um, it's, a, it's a nice intro. Yeah. Super smooth. Production's just smooth. Sounds like something 40 would do. Wouldn't surprise me if he was behind the boards on that one. Um, yeah, super smooth, Drake's rapping sounds really nice on there, a little braggadocious, not too over the top, I dig it, it's a good intro. Yeah, kept it real simple and didn't overstay his welcome, however, I do, there's one line I want to pull up. Um, Stop! He's speaking on a little bit here, he's saying some things, as you do in rap. Well, you don't have to. No, you could be, just, you know. You could be talking about how to multiply seven by four, but with, um, chopsticks. My Mount, my Mount Rushmore is me with four different expressions. I love that line. Ooh. That's super like arrogant, but kind of it's smart and witty as well. He really is on his braggadocious shit. Uh, all life. Interesting like reference to uh, Meek Mill beef. I've ever had real Philly niggas try to write my end in. Taking mm. shots with the gold and talk about the shots that we send in. Mm. Nice, man. Already straight out of the park. But it's like, it's a good intro, but it's not... It's not epic. Like, Drake's had some epic fucking intros, man. Like, Tuscan Leather. Yeah. Keep the Family Close. Yeah. Like, those those tracks are fucking amazing. What, and what else he had? He's had um, Fireworks. Uh, what's the intro for if you're in Legend? Oh, man. Like, his intros are normally more grandeur. Like, this is still a good intro, but I feel like it's missing that Drake grandeur. 
which I'm normally accustomed to hearing on a Drake record. So, but yeah, I still, I still fuck with it. And the line that I wanted to bring up, yeah, I was about to. Man, I thought about it at first when he said this line, and he paused. I'm like, is he talking about what suicide or something? What were you? What did you think about? That you were contemplating, but then uh, the reference may have been to the the push T did this. Like he, he's now acknowledging it. It's like, oh yeah, man, I thought about responding, but I didn't. Um, anyway, I think this is a strong opener. I don't think Drake's ever opened it with a rap track before on, it, on his album, Bar So Far Gone. I think he's always opened up with an R&B track. Besides So Far Gone, you said? Yeah, because I think that opens up with rap. But that was like a mixtape. Anyway, man. Anyways. I, I want to make sure I keep connected with the lyrics. I'm going to keep it... Keep... 100%. Let's keep it 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. Non-stop. <laughs> okay. This that bup 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 Watch the 5 9 on this shit He could turn it up bup 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 Doing this Body's about to drop Hey Hit the fuck I didn't wanna know me since I hit the top Hey This a rolling not a stop Watch shit don't never stop Just take the sweat Catch me cause I'm gone Out of there I'm gone How I go from 6 to 23 like I'm LeBron Serving up a pack Serving up a pack The future took the business and ran it for me I let Ali take the aisle, told him brand it for me I get two million a pop and that's standing for me Like, yeah, she just said I'm bad, I hit the fizzle dance Matt Drake shit, either hand is the upper hand Yeah, shit This is very similar to the flow he uses on I'm Upset If you realize Yeah, that's probably why I didn't fuck with it that much You didn't fuck with it that much? Not really, I think it was It got, it got a bit boring for me I mean, it's not a bad track, it's just It's alright, I just you know, I was looking for a switch up. The production's pretty simple and basic, which isn't a bad thing, but it's mm. like, didn't engage me that much. You obviously liked it a bit more. I liked it. I didn't love it. Like, I like, because <coughs> I'm enjoying the, his, like, he's switching up his flow. Like, like with I'm Upset and with this track here, like, he's using a more 21 Savage approach. Like, less energetic, more nonchalant. See, like, I, I'm, not, I'm not the biggest fan of that tone. See, neither am I, but I feel like, if you do it right, and also like, if you did it for one track, I wouldn't like it, but the fact, if he can make it work for like, a peat body of work, in a way that it comes together, and there's a reason as to why he's doing it, that I can sort of get behind it. But um, but yeah, the main thing what I'm thinking with this track is, I'd rather Drake go hard with his voice, that we know that he can fucking rap harder. Yeah. But, he's But he's just... clearly influenced by his peers, and he's now touring with the Migos, and you know. With the Migos. The Migos, yes, that's the two is called, it's called Something Something and the Migos. That's awesome. Yeah, it's good. It's like an act. Anyway, no, I didn't just say that like that. Uh, he, one line, it's like, I'm pulling back the curtain on myself, take a look. Pulling back the curtain, trying to reveal details about himself that people don't usually know, vulnerability. Uh, I'm hoping it took to hear that on this project, if not the B-side. Um, you know, talking about his kid and his alleged kid and the pregnancy. I'm looking forward to hearing that. I hope he addresses it. Not that he owes us it. No, I really hope he does as well. Do you know why the Migos are called Migos? No, I don't. The three amigos. Is you for real? Is that 100%, that would make perfect sense? Hundred percent serious. That's really smart. I like that a lot. I don't like the amigos a lot, but I like the fucking name now. <laughs> three amigos. But we're gangsters, so we amigos. Uh, elevate. So much on my plate, I gotta delegate. He's, he's a bit more, a bit more energy now. Balls of the rap side. Yeah. I think it's just the hook, bro. Well, the pre-chorus. Yeah. Oh. It's like a hard beat, but a sing song. That's a good track. Yeah, man. Strong. Energetic. Vegas like Marineland and Big Well Treatment. Georgie got me up a hundred thousand for the weekend. I got a move to say beside the bed when I be sleeping. Best track so far? Yeah, indeed. You know, energy, passion. Um, really great production that suited his, his vocal delivery quite well. Yeah. And a surprising... Um, singing Drake on here. Yeah, I thought this was a pure rap side, but I'm guessing like maybe there'll be like some singing to go with it because that's just kind of Drake. It's hard not to do it when you already have this talent and skills. Like, oh, this feels like I should do it. Yeah, I get it. I get it. But I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind a bit more. Like you know, like rappers that can't sing, they have a, like huge rap hooks, like Freddie Gibbs. You know, actually, now he sings a bit. 
Either way, a uh, really dope track. You want to pull up some of that? Well, yeah, it's just pretty clear. Jake's continuing on his, um, he's reflecting on his career and his success, mm. and but still while trying to remain hungry and humble for the future. It'd be hard. A hundred percent, man. We don't know what it's like, but it seems like thematically, this is conceptually, this is quite uh, consistent. You mm. know, you know, we haven't got anything too different so far. <laughs> I like it, Drake. Yeah. You've got a friend in me. And these tracks aren't short either. So he's really, he's like, fuck it, man. on the brush this they sound like boy wonder drums i know the truth is you won't love me until i'm gone and even then the thing that comes after is moving on i can't even capture the feeling i had at first working in the land of the free the home of the brave i gotta bring my brothers or else i feel out of place breaking speed records on roads that these niggas paid me iconic duos ripping split at the seams good hearted oh. people are taking it to extremes leaving me in limbo to question what i believe that's a beautiful sample. Missing out on my days, scrolling through life and fishing for praise. Opinions from total strangers take me out of my ways. I know a girl that saves pictures from places she's grown. The post later and make it look like she's still on the go. I wasn't hiding my kid from the world, I was hiding the world from my kid. From heavy souls who just wake up and look to debate. Why let the story run if it's false? You know a wise man once said nothing at all. I'm exhausted and drained, I can't even pretend You give them an inch All these followers, but who gon' follow me to the end? Uh. I guess I make it to the end and I'm gonna find out then uh. Yes! Tell him! Talk that talk! Yes! Woo! Amen Fuck bro, that was so, so great Production was great. The Mariah Carey sample was on point. Those drums were so sort of heavy hitting. Drake had so much passion. Yeah, he had a lot to say too. Hit me with them this is boy. the this is the Drake formula though. I've I, he's made tracks similar tones to this mm. with that type of vibrant beats. Mm. I, do you, what does this remind you of? Does it remind you of any past Drake sh shit? Um, it gives me maybe. Like, is it Tuscan leather type? I can't remember if it's that. Yeah, sort. it'd be Tuscan leather type. Right. right. And he's saying a lot here. He, he referenced the Kanye, Jay-Z, Virgil Abloh. He fucking admitted to having a kid. He admitted to having a kid. Whoa, hello. Here we go. So and, this is... And such a fair reasoning too. I wasn't trying to hide my kid from the world. I was trying to hide the world from my kid. Because mm. then, then he prefaced it by all the examples of different women, false, fake women that he knew. Not just women, just people in general that he knew that were living this facade, this fake life and trying to portray a image of reality that wasn't real and this is something that everyone can relate to we all know someone like that so this is why drake is so uh, like popular because everyone can relate to to what he's saying in some way mm. fuck i lost it i did not get the kanye jay-z line iconic duos rip and split at the seams good-hearted people are taking it to extremes split at the seams probably a reference to actual literally clothing splitting at the seams because Virgil Abloh and Kanye. That's actually a, a really good fucking line. They're man. in the fashion industry. Damn. How cool is that? It's really cool. And he's just saying how they, I mean, you can't trust nobody no more. I wonder if he wrote that. And he's hitting us with jewels too. He's hitting us like with, with, with these jewels, man. They always ask why let the story run if it's false. You know, a wise man once said nothing at all. Because Drake is super quiet in the media. All these followers, but who gonna follow me to the end? I guess I'll make it to the end and I'm gonna find out then. Bah! Man. If I'm quiet, it's because I'm either loving the track or hating it. And oh. God damn, I was loving it. God's plan. Trying to keep it peaceful is a struggle for me. Top of love at 6 a.m. to cut over me. You know how I like it when you love it on me. I don't want to die for them to miss me. Yes, I see the things that they wish you know me. God's plan. I hope that sometimes I won't. Yeah. I feel good sometimes I don't. Hey. Hey, hey. She, she said, said you, you love, love 
me, I tell the Holy Father I only love my bed and my mom on sides Keep me dug, I ain't even got it counted on me 81, they're doing to the 03 I'm 8 Someone watching me, shit close, close I've been me since calling it both Hey, bro, 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 We've done a review of this track. If you want to see our thoughts, go watch it. It's a fucking amazing track. Love it. Next track. But how's it fitting with the concept of the album? <sighs> I, I think thematically, it definitely fits in. Just if you lyrically, what he's saying, like, um, like people around him are like uh, betraying him. He doesn't know if he trusts people. There's a lot of bad people that wishing bad things on me. Blah, right. blah, blah. It does fit in. All right. I'm sold. But are you upset? Because I'm upset this is on here. But it's a single. Let's see how it goes. I can see how it fits in with the album though, what he's talking about. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not, it doesn't break up the structure. It's just, very, I don't particularly like the song. It's very similar to the second track with the way it's flowing. Yeah. But the beat's not as good as the second track. The second, no. the beat on the second track is so good that it can hold him using that sort of style. But here, as we've, we've reviewed this as well, so if you want to check it out, go check our single review. We feel the same still. Yeah. Weakest track so far. Yeah. Um. Eight out of ten. Too rich for who y'all just got rich again. Who grips the mic and likes to kill their friends? I've never been like the Kanye. type to make amends. If shit was at an eight, we like to, we like to, we like to. This is super yeah. Kanye. I got to breathe real deep when I catch an attitude. I got a whole other level that I can tap into. Okay, do it. Max said they only bless when they attach to you. The only damn beats is whatever beats I've been rapping to. Never a matter of could I, should I, kiss my son on the forehand and kiss your ass goodbye. Yeah. As luck would have it, I've settled into my role as the good guy. All sevens, no sixes, rest easy, get some shut up. All sevens, no sixes, cause sixes like the devil. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah. Miss making That's a page. Hella bad, Will Smith crib straight to the stage. Three, four, yeah. Never a matter of could I, should I, kiss my mom on the forehand and kiss your ass goodbye. Who is you? You ain't nobody. Okay, so that outro was trash. <laughs> um, What's it got to do with the track? The outro is from a late 2017 video from Piles that gained traction as a meme. Piles? You mean Plies? Plies, sorry. I don't know what that is. He's a rapper. I'm not, I'm not all up on the mean game. You don't mean. need to be. He's a terrible rapper. One of the worst rappers to ever exist, actually. 90% of his songs are about pussy. In fact, probably 98%, let's be honest. Damn. He had uh, some hits such as like Ride Dick So Good, Becky, and Licking, Lick It, Brackets, Just the Tip. A lot of good hits there for you. <laughs> not even kidding. That's just my knowledge for Plies. Uh, anyways, uh, the track was really good until that outro. It's just dumb. Beautiful mm. soft instrumental. And even the second verse, when he picked it up a bit more, like you could hear him get hungrier on the second verse. Right. Mm. The delivery was great. Um, and just a self-reflection on his current situation and his life. Mm. You know, nothing nothing that stands out too well. He, Jake's just updating us, man. Yeah, but... I don't know, the production... It's, as good as the production was, it was, it was, it was kind of like to Drake. Like, Drake's done a song like that so many times before. They kind of want something a bit different from him. And that's why, if you read this, it's too late. It was such a good album because he was him doing everything so different. Right. This doesn't seem. Yeah. It just seems he's doing what he's pretty good at right yeah. now. And that's why views. A lot of people didn't like views because views got a lot of hate because of the way he. It was a really safe album for him. And right. the reason I really liked it is because it had elements of all all sounds from all his albums. Right. And I thought you only get one of these Drake. I really like views, and I was just like, if you're gonna if you're gonna do this, you can't do it again. And at the moment. He's kind of doing it again. Well, I think people are going to give it that pass because they were giving rap Drake, and then we're getting scene Drake, but we're getting a 2018 version of that. So it's like yeah. updated and a bit refined. Well, we're so early, so let's keep it, keep it going. But so far, I'm, I'm probably more impressed at this point. So. Mob Ties. This is track called Mob Ties. Yeah, he's got Mob Ties, bro. He's got Ties in the Mob, bro. Don't fuck with Drake. He's a central man, but he's got Mob Ties. Ties and Mob Oh, that other shit. It's too late for all that. 
Hey, it's too late for it. Yeah, I don't care how they look. Heard all of the talking, now it's quiet, now it's shit. Get ready to do it. You see the shit? I'm under the bricks. Whatever you did. Hey. They want me to go on, but they don't know why. It's too late, Definitely, definitely. I love the infusion of Drake's singing with the rap mm. and the pre chorus. Mm. Sick of these niggas. Sick of these niggas. Highs and Get rid of these niggas. It was great. And it answers my question before. Before I was like, I. I've heard like the track before I was like I've heard this type of Drake before I'm kind of bored with this Drake and here we get a very refreshing different Drake yeah which is what I wanted and it's almost influenced by I think Migos. the trap movement yeah definitely influenced by Migos the way he's rapping like this rapping like that rapping the trap rapping and I don't like think it's bad I like, no, I, I like I, it I think he does quite well with I think, him I think he's chosen a really smart instrumental which uh, goes well with his voice it also goes well with the way he's flowing and uh, like I said I like that light guitar very medi medieval to me uh, fun fun track a really enjoyable track and you, you hear those right, the lyrics it's like man drake must get so many two-faced people yeah. who like say one thing to him and do the other like yeah. i think about all the people on the internet it's me like oh man fucking why hasn't drake died yet or fucking drake's so terrible like it's you get to an age of rapper like you know it was really cool to hate on little wayne yeah it was really cool to hate on drake like you get to an age of rapper where if you put out one corny track and all one one kid of the youth hates on it then it becomes a trend to hate on that rapper and now you become memes it's like becomes cool to hate people yeah yeah. Let's say I was worried when I was like young in school and it was I hated, hated on certain people. Then when I got to an age where I appreciated Lil Wayne Drake because I grew up with that. I got to a stage where people started hating on them. I'm like, oh fuck, that's what I did when I was that age to these rappers. Mm. So it's just the way it goes. And that's the way it is. Uh. Okay. Not anymore. Who's it sound like? No, Drake fucked up. He admitted he reads his comment section. That's he's fucked up now. Now the troll is really gonna come hard. What do you say about? You said back and forth to Italy. My comment section killing me. Hmm. Man. Shouldn't tell the people. But even if you don't tell them, everyone does, man. Nah, not everyone, man. I mean, everyone's gonna have a glimpse, but like we're all different degrees, right? Yeah, I guess Some that's people right. really look. And Some people them. don't look, though. Like, Janae Echo, she deleted anybody's ability to make comments on her Instagram. Fair enough. I kind of dig that. You know, you can imagine. She's Cause I'd be like, Janae, you've changed. <laughs> anyway, um, nice beat. I liked his flow. I can't remember who it reminded me of. His singing was good. His, yeah. the, the hook was really. Da -na -na, da -na 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 -na. Once again, doing stuff that I haven't really heard him do before in this manner. Uh, simple trap beat. I could have used a bit more in the beat, in my opinion, but his singing and raps are pretty nice there. So I'm not. It sounds like a track that I listened to a few more times. But I wouldn't hate it. It's pretty fun. That's kind of what I'm feeling this album at the moment. Like I haven't really loved anything this album, like besides track three. Yeah, probably. Um... Like I've, just, I've liked all the tracks. I haven't loved any Emotionless, of the tracks. Emotionless, yeah. Yeah, but like I said, we'll keep it going. And the lyric content on this one was probably the most subpar, um, quite basic and, and rudimentary. Mm. Sandra's Rose. Is that his mother, Sandra? I don't know. Right. Price tags are making the world feel some. They don't have enough to satisfy a real one. Mary Carter couldn't even get the deal. I'm making holes walk together like I'm Amber Rose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got her up to Annie. California girl, sweeter than pieces of candy. Doing numbers like I'm Mr. Dell. Sandra knows I pulled us out of a living hell. I'm the chosen one, flowers never pick themselves. There's so many good lines on that. Oh. That's probably my second favorite track right there. Yeah, good track. A lot of bars, really beautiful sample. Drake spitting, very soulful, saying some shit. Pull it up. Produced by DJ Premier Manesh. That was Premier? Yeah. 
wouldn't have fucking picked that. Um, no, I'm not. I'm not even gonna really pull out that many lines, or if at all. But like, um, it had a lot of catchy, just like one-liners. A lot and of play on words. Yeah, a lot of witty. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Play on words. And it, it, he's, he's. I think the best tracks on this album, or just in general by Drake, is when he's thematically exploring concepts that are a bit more meaningful, a mm. bit more depth. You know, I think that's when we get the best energy and passion from Drake. That's been mm. a trend on this album, anyway. Um, yeah, man, let's keep this rolling. That, that I love that. That was really cool. It was alright. Talk up. <laughs> I knew it was on here, I didn't know which song. Man, that makes me mad. How are you gonna get one of the best beats in this album? One of Drake's best tracks of her so far, and to get Jay Z on a track which he would suit perfectly, and then he just half asses it. It's like it's like he just handed in his homework at like the last possible second, and he only like fucking did half of it. You feel me? Ah, uh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, 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 a little bit. A Replay little bit. the verse. I'm not. As... Let's do it. Replay Jay Z's verse. Looking like soft white on him. Streets is done. What was that last line he said? Y'all could y'all killed X, let Zimmerman live. Streets is done. Fuck. He just referenced XXX to Dacion. Shows how long ago that was recorded. Uh I mean he could have added it in, but you know. Mm, that's uh legit Drake's gonna be like, Drake, this is Drake, alright? He's like, shit, my album's gonna be on a week. I don't got Jay Z's version. He promised me a verse. Yo, Jay Z. <laughs> What's going on, Drake? Yo, man, you said you'd have that verse to me soon, man, and I've got like seven days of Yo, yo, it's okay, Drake, it's okay. I'll get that verse to you soon. Fucking, fucking rippity, rappity, rappity, hippity, hoppity. There you go, Drake. Where's the thank you? Where's that check? Two million? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Legit, you can tell that Jay-Z wasn't giving a fuck about that. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's Jay -Z not. Jay-Z did not give a shit. It's not great feature verse from Jay. No. It's unfortunate. It's like, I don't want to no. believe it. It's like, it's hard for me to even like say it. I don't want to believe it. Like that beat would have suited him so perfectly. Yeah. Like you can imagine him being more like more high energy. And just the, cause normally Jay-Z is so good cause he ends his lives with such like, such euphoria in a way. Like he just, and then just like, oh shit. His delivery was a bit, is a bit slow. It's yeah, a bit lazier. And even the way he was flowing, like it was like, but, 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 uh, I don't know, man. I'm really annoyed cause that was potentially one going to be the best track on the album, but his feature killed it in the wrong way. Yeah. Yeah. That's just me. Last track of the side A. For real? Is We're up to attack track 12? Yeah. Thank is the law? Is there more? Only crying I do is crying from laughing about it. Only lacking I can do is my lack of responses. Only breaths that I do is wear the rest of my covers. Give them nice things, but what's that to them? Especially when another girl I flew in is flicking up in my bathroom when they recognize my bathroom. All hell starts to break loose in my text. That ain't what I'm about. I'm in control of my destiny, never in doubt. If I can't make it with you, I'll make it without. They say take the good with the bad, I'll take it without. Oh. Either the berry, the black, or the juice. The boy is back in the booth, ready to tap in the truth. Too many lyrics by house and loop. Too many Walt Disney characters, mouses and goose. Yeah. Soon as the sound will drop, I'm out of the deal. In the house playing D'Angelo, how does it feel? 
because I had a lot of great lines once again. It's probably my third favorite track. Um, talk, go talk. The boys back in the booth ready tapping the truth. Too many lyrics about hoes and loot. Too many Walt Disney's characters, mouses, and goofs. <laughs> there's, there's, there's ways to say lines. There's ways to say things in a simple way. And there's ways to say things in a witty, like clever way. And I think it's very clever because it's, it's another word for being fake. Too many Walt Disney characters, mouses, and goofs. Mm. Fake fiction. How do you even like? I think I was. And also, the fact that goof can play in the word is not only being like a cartoon character, but also a goof. So. Like an idiot, like stupid. Yeah. Yeah. And Mickey's as well. Like people go, like, "You're a Mickey." Like so, there's just really smart wordplay there. And the way he reflected on his his relationships with certain females in his life at the start, trying to control the chaos, but then at the same time being confident that he has full control. Very self reflective, you know, giving us a window into the life of Drake. And I like that. And I mm. like this track. No, I really liked it too. The production was probably the most Drake we've heard. I'm pretty sure 40 would be in this track. I'm pretty sure I've heard 40 and Boy Wonder all over this album so far. Oh, he referenced that he's now clear of his deal. You know, he signed a six album deal with Cash Money? Mm hmm. Yeah, so this, this is the last one. The double disc accounts for two albums, apparently. So now he's. I think now he's done. Fuck, man. That's crazy. I know, right? 2009. Fuck, man. That's nearly 10 years. Fuck, that's huge, It's a $2 man. million dollar advance that was they Bird organized. Man's the, Birdman's on the down, because now Lil Wayne, I think, is free of cash money. Yeah. He's out to court. Drake's free of it. Yeah. All that's left is Nicki Minaj. Fuck, but she loves, she talks so highly of... Birdman? She's like, it's my ba it's baby. That's baby. It's called baby. So she loves him? Yeah, yeah. She really speaks really highly of him, at least recently in the media. Damn, man. So, so what does that mean for Drake, though? Does that change the music at all? I hope so, because I want something different from Drake. Because after hearing this, I'm left like, I don't, I, don't, I don't care to go back to this. Really? Side, okay, well, this is side A, the rap Drake. You don't care to go back to this? I don't care to go back to it. Okay, explain why. Because you want to review it right now, then get to the second, because it's yeah, about yeah, an hour. Just in case. Yeah. All right. So what we're going to do, guys, we're going to review um, the side A. Then we're most likely going to review, uh, drop the second video. So make sure to go watch that right after here, mm -hmm. off side B. These are two kind of different discs and albums. Go ahead, talk your talk. I just feel like it was just too much of the same Drake. I know that he's saying on this album, I know that he's, he's talked about, you know, confirming having a kid and, and addressing that and addressing his uh, coming to terms with trying to stay on top of the game, not letting the fame get to him too much and all that sort of ish. But all the beats, like as beautiful as some of the production was, it wasn't anything different for me. And as I stated before, yeah. I think Views was that album where he got the pass for that. He doesn't get the pass again. And here, I can't give it to him. Like there were a few tracks where he was different, like a few, but the, the, the ones where he was different, like I'm upset and that other one, like I didn't like them. I think there was only really two to three tracks on this album that I would go back to. I mean, maybe this will grow on me. I will, I will go back to it, I guess, and check it out again, but I... I just wasn't really that interested at all. It's like the first Drake album I've listened to and just not really cared for, like, ever. Damn. Well, for me personally, like, I, I liked it quite a bit more than you. Um, I think you're, you're, lyrically, like, we're exploring different conce concepts in different ways, some more complex than others and some more interesting than others and more engaging than others. I think hearing your justification, yeah, I would have liked something different. The production is lacking a little bit at times. Overall, I don't think production's the production's lacking. I think that it's just okay. It's not changing it up. Like you want something different. I just we want, something want something different, different from Drake, man. That's like, what I mean, lacking. I just want another. If you read this, it's too late, Drake. Not the same as that album, but just an album that came out. Where it was like, whole oh, shit. We've yeah. never heard Drake do any it was of this refreshing. Shit before. Like tracks like Preach and Legend. Yeah. Jungle, like yeah. Like that was just that was a Drake we'd never heard. So before. you you want or I want too. We want that feeling of. Which, refreshingness and honestly if the next Drake album is like that then this album will probably make a lot more sense okay in that case we're Jungle Beats that's Drake Scorpion Side A Side A let's see what Side B's got for us make sure to click over next video it's right there boom boom we'll see you in the next video stay tuned don't click off just click watch later man or you know what you could do click subscribe motherfucker and then you're gonna see what happened next cause they ain't gonna be up straight away you gotta be up Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, uh, uh. Coming off the last record. I'm getting 20 million off the record. Just to off these records, nigga, that's a record. I'm living like I'm out here on my last adventure.